Okay, everybody. So hopefully you guys can see me. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is show you guys basically how you can go from making a video. So let's say we wanted to take a video where you're just surmising your chapter on your book, how you can turn that into a post that's compelling and eye-catching, and then use that to draw people in, right? So I'm going to be doing this with a YouTube post that I had originally where I'm talking about kind of like my experience with self-absorption of authors. If you want to, go check that out. It's already been posted. I'll put a link somewhere in this video so you can see it. But basically, in order to do that, the tools I'm using are I'm using Loom. I'm using uh, Canva, which actually needs to be in my my book, my book bar, my bookmarks bar. And then obviously like YouTube and then ChatGPT. Those are like, I would say, the essential tools for making this work, right? So that is, you know, 20 bucks for Loom. It's like 15 bucks for Loom, 20 bucks for ChatGPT, 15 bucks for Canva, right? So that's 23, that's 50 bucks. So the 50 bucks, basically, you can have a super essential, super fast workflow where you can go from making a video, creating a attractive, cool thumbnail for that video, to posting it, having a script, and being able to get that on all, out on all the tools, right? You can do that all very seamlessly, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that workflow, right? Right here. So stick with me. For the next 20 minutes, I will show you how you can quickly make social media posts to surmise and uh, basically summarize your books, make them attractive, cool, but also in your own voice, and how you can use AI to assist you doing that. So check it out. So what I did, the first thing you do is you're going to make a video. So that's where you just make a video with your camera. So what I did is I made a video with my camera and I clicked the little share button at the bottom of the screen, right? So it, if you guys don't know what that looks like, so for instance, if I was going to do a share button here, this is uh, one of the videos I have. I was at this uh, conference and they were ridiculous and called the cops on me. And this is the cop basically explaining to them, explaining to me that the people were being ridiculous. Um, and that's why I made the video about self-absorbed authors, but we'll go, we'll go there. Um, anyway, so what you're going to do is if you go create a video on your phone, you're going to go on this little share button. And now if you have a connection to YouTube on your phone, you'll see YouTube here. Here, I only see Facebook and Twitter, so we'll be doing it the long way um, on the computer. Well, not the long way. It's already been done on my phone. So the idea is you make a video on your phone and it can basically be you saying like, hey, this is the first chapter of my book and you're going to talk through the first chapter of your book and what you wrote. And you can even go as far to have a flipping audiobook version of the book on there, right? And then you're going to just post that on YouTube. Literally just audiobook, whatever, record it. You can literally read your book out then post it on YouTube, whatever that is, with you reading it. That's how basic this is. So you are reading your book out and you post it on YouTube, right? So after you do that, the video is there on YouTube. Now, what are you going to do? Now, if you have chat GPT-4, which I recommend getting, you're going to get this plugin called AI PRM, right? Which is really, really good. And that not only will it plug into your chat GPT through your browser, but it will also allow you to do a summary recording of the video. So what you'll do is you'll see this little icon here at the top left of the video. And basically you can click on there and ChatGPT will then pump out a summary of whatever the video is. And this is the video you just uploaded. So here it summarizes my whole video. And it's just like, oh my God, it just tells me everything. And it'll take down a full transcript of everything in the video. So if you talk for 15 minutes, blam, it does that out. So this is how you get a transcript of your book that you just read. So if you read out your book and you were talking da 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 da, chat GPT will do this automatically, right? And then what's cool is it'll then surmise and summarize everything you just learned, right? So see, now I've made a video and I've gone from chat GPT to make a quick summary of that with bullet points. Now, how do I turn that into a post? Well, what you say is, hey GPT, I would like you, actually, I'm just going to show you what I did here, right? Is 
you go and say, hey, GPT, can you create a summary of what role playing as the speaker and call yourself by your name? So say Oni. And then you tell them the type of tone you want the, the, uh, the uh, article to have. So here I say I, have to, I want my tone to be conversational, contemplative, and curious, not accusatory. I want them to write in the English language. Then I tell them 400 words, yada, yada, yada. I said, then you know what chat did? Well, here it's, it got kind of busted up, right? But here I was then able to get a whole article, right? And that article I was able to place here because I took it out and copied it here. So that's here where I put my post in my drive, right? So I have it here and this is where I do March March posts, right? March posts. March 2024 for my posts, right? And then I put that there, control all one for my headlines, boom. And that's where I put my posts. This is where I organize my posts for that. And then I have the links. I put all this stuff here. I go through, I edit it to make sure that it's going through. I took you like two minutes to do this because it was really on point. Because remember, it's already copying your voice from your video so it knows how you speak and then it can take that speaking style and that's why you tell it to role play as the speaker so it will then just say what you want but adjust the tone accordingly right so i know it speaks like me because obviously myself and i can do that so i'm going to copy and paste this here right because now i know that's good for it right so now i'm going to take that post you're going to go after you've created the thumbnail, right, which we if you want to know how to create the thumbnail. We've already made that video. Oh, my camera went out. You know what? The show must go on. I'm not going to worry about it. My camera's off, so we're just going to reduce this, make me smaller, and the show must go on. So here we have, I already have the video. I've already posted it, right, and I put the thumbnail. I already made a video about how to make that thumbnail using AI. It took me about 10 minutes to do. So 10 minutes for this. Now you have the post. So what's going to happen is you're going to take that thumbnail, right? And then you're just going to put that in, use that as your, your way of drawing people in. So now I've already posted this on Facebook. So to post this on Facebook, you just click through on the little three buttons here, and then you go to share, and then you see Facebook right there. You're going to click on Facebook, and then it's going to pull up a post for you right there, and you're going to be able to do that. Now, remember that post you meant and copy and paste it? You're just going to put that right there. Control V, boom. You have the post there. And then now you have people linked to your YouTube video, right? As well as you have the post that ChatGPT made in your voice right there for you. You're going to put it in your story and then you're going to post to Facebook. You've already gotten it one. So now we've made a video. We've been able to, in a few minutes, about 10 minutes, Actually, yeah, we're at eight minutes in. We've been able to obviously make a thumbnail with about 10 minutes. So let's say we're 18 minutes in. You put a thumbnail, you're able to get that post, you're putting it on Facebook. You can put any relevant links in that Facebook post and you've posted it on Facebook. And so it's like, okay, sweet, now it's done. So if we go to my Facebook here, right? And just go check that out. Boom, it's right there, right? And we do that. And I actually need to put a link to another video here. So let's close this out and let's edit this post because we want to be able to link, put a link there. Um, maybe we're not able to put a link that case we're just yeah not gonna be able to put a link there so I feel I feel good good surprise no new day link all right so we've been able to do a Facebook post now it's like okay well let's go do an Instagram post right because it's like let's say I have people on Instagram that I want to do that so I go to Instagram I go select on my computer I take that same post I go here go to original boom and then we can even change the color a little bit make it a little and boom, then that 400 word post. That's what we'll follow. And there, we have too many characters. So from now on, we actually need to do, in order to use that, we need to 
So let's actually, that's too big for the post. So let's actually have ChatGPT do this. It's like, hey, chat, I need you to make this same summary, but less than 2,000 characters. characters. And then I'm going to post that there and then put it there. And then ChatGPT is going to give me something basically for my Instagram post, right? And so now it's writing it in real time, essentially saying the same things. I could go uh, quickly read here. So it's like, okay, I've seen this like the FBI, I've been experiences, found myself at a crossroads, the opportunity to chat with a friend, I can read much faster than I can talk. I can read much faster than I can talk. Okay, sweet, that's good. So now I can take that, I drop that on the Instagram, Boom, and it's within the 1565, sweet. Now we're gonna do that. We're gonna put in hashtag authors, hashtag book coach, hashtag books, hashtag love reading, whatever hashtags you want, right? Love reading books, hashtag help people or whatever, right? And we go share, boom. So now we've shared our video on YouTube because we made the video, we uploaded it, right? And then let's say I'm feeling really ambitious. Let's say it's like, you know what? I really want to make this like super clear. So I'm going to, let's say I want to add this and really go in and like edit this. So I'll go into the video here on YouTube because we've been able to now post it on Facebook posted on Instagram and we're 12 minutes into this guys, 12 minutes. We were able to do that and you're able to take this video. And so if you made a 10 minute video, that's an eight minute thumbnail and basically half an hour, you've been able to post whatever you want across three platforms seamlessly, half an hour like that using AI and it's sped up the whole process and you can make it attractive. You can make it cool and you can make it efficient and good. This is where AI is really, really good for helping us build our businesses and really being able to enable us to do more. So let me just, so I'm going to go here, put the post into my YouTube videos, but you guys get the idea is that using chat GPT, using Canva, you guys can use the AIs in that to create thumbnails, to create posts, and you can do it seamlessly and very quickly. And then if you know how to use and navigate this technology, you can do that. So if you guys want to learn more about stuff like this, how to quickly make uh, efficient workflows for posting social media so it doesn't take all day, but you can still create and get that audience and create that content out there, hit me up. I'd love to see what you guys think. Super happy to keep sharing this with you. Stay happy, stay healthy, and peace.